say hot fire? Yes, hot fire to this palette because it's absolutely stunning. Hey guys, so today I'm back with the Instagram baddie makeup. And you know, every baddie is using these fierce and warm colors. And so I'm placing burnt orange right onto the crease area and literally buffing this and making it look super blended. I thought this palette was absolutely gorgeous, but the formula is to die for. This formula is super silky and it just glides. I love it. This is probably the best palette I've tried yet. So I'm taking Real Girl. It's such a beautiful orange and I'm popping this right on top of the other color I used. This is just going to add some warmth to this look. So if you do have an Instagram and you're really into it, you probably have seen these Instagram baddies. I mean, their makeup is gorge. Their highlight is on fleek. Their eyebrows are perfect. I mean, everything about them is just ridiculously amazing. Okay, guys. So I'm taking the brush that I was using for burnt orange and with no product, I'm just going back and diffusing these colors. I'm making sure there's no harsh lines and just to make sure that you know everything looks completely blended now i'm taking red ochre this is so pretty it's like a really nice red it's almost burgundy but not quite and i absolutely love this color it's just amazing like i said i think this palette was seriously made for me because all these colors are like my type of of color if that makes any sense my type of palette this is just the type of palette that I love anyway so I'm placing this right under like the crease area and I'm literally kind of building up the color now I'm taking cypress umber which is this really cool brown and I'm also placing this right on the crease I'm just gonna use this to define the crease and make everything look a little bit more hollow now with the flat shader brush, I'm taking Primavera, which means spring in Spanish, and I'm placing this right on the lid. I'm kind of tapping it, but I'm also kind of going back and forth and making sure this looks kind of smooth. I don't want any lines. I don't want it to be like super perfect. I just want it to be a little bit messy. So I have noticed that in most Instagram baddies pictures, they always have super matte skin. And for that reason, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the color 206. And I am blending my foundation downward because we do have pores and little hairs. And so I want to lay those little hairs flat. And I want to make sure the foundation looks super smooth. So always make sure to blend your foundation downward, never up. Today I'm using my LA Girl Concealer in the color Creamy Beige and I'm just using this to highlight a little bit. Um, it does have a slightly pink undertone and this will cancel out any darkness. So that's why I love using this one and it's super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy under the eye. I couldn't find my beauty blender so I had to use this dollar blender. Um, but hey, it gets the job done. Okay, so I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche, which is like one of my favorite candies. If you've never tried Dulce de Leche, you have to try it. It's almost like caramel, but not quite. You would know if you try it. It's so good. Anyway, so I'm taking the yellow and I'm placing this under my eyes. Every baddie has really matte and contoured face so I'm taking the contour color and I'm using this to contour my face this is a little bit more on the warm side but hey it'll do I'm just going to use this to bronze and contour I'm going to use it on my temples on my forehead on my chin by the way I'm using this color to contour the heck out of my nose because I want it to look super slender so I'm taking my Dior blush and the color my rose is such a beautiful mauve pink but it's not too dark which I love I'm literally popping this right onto the apples of the cheeks and blending it upward so every Instagram baddie has like super matte skin and so that's why I'm using this this color is pretty matte but it does have just a little bit of glitter but it's not super noticeable and for lips I'm using the Milani lip liner in the color spice and I'm overlining my lips just to make them look a lot bigger because every Instagram baddie for some reason has big lips or just fuller lips. And so that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. 
So I was going to go in with another lipstick, but then I decided that this color was super beautiful. So I'm just kind of filling in the rest of my lips, and this is the only thing I will be using just to complete the look. And of course, everybody has highlight on flakes, so I'm putting a lot, a lot, a lot of this Anastasia Glow Kit, and I'm literally popping this on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my temples, I mean, I'm literally throwing this on like crazy. Two hours later, and I'm still putting on highlight. Like I said, I really want this to show up, so I did sprint this with a little bit of Fix Plus just to make it look a little bit more vibrant. So I did a really fierce cat liner, like a cat liner that will cut you, and I applied the Coco Lashes and the Style Ariel, and this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching, and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video.